Hey everybody, this is FHRC Brony, and why are we looking at a Tamiya Ferrari 458 Italia body that's mainly been put on on my Traxxas Ford Tech 2.0? Well, I'm actually got something really cool to show you, and I've been actually been wanting to try uh, to show it to you guys for a while. Didn't get the chance to because I've been busy with work, but um, now I got some time. I want to go ahead and show you something really cool. So, as you can see, there's four holes here. Um, I was experimenting on putting a Ford GT uh, Fortec 2.0 shock tower. That's normally been normally used for the Traxxas Ford GT body, and that didn't go out well. So I decided to use the adjustable body mounts. For the Fortec 2.0 and cut and use the body reamer to cut open some holes on the where the um, intake uh, the intake vents go so yeah it's a little unfortunate and it kind of makes it a little bit ugly you know, some people may not see it on the side but i want to go ahead and cover that up so what i found i saw this on a video on youtube they use something called a bondic pen and it looks, it has this kind of case, and that's the Bondic pen. What this is, it's kind of like Shugu in a, in a sense, or two-pack epoxy in a way. Um, this is actually an adhesive. Um, when you put some, when you apply some, some of these onto, like, let's say some plastic, um, it's like a gel substance and then until you use and it will dry up like in seconds with UV light um, It's kind of, kind of hard for me to explain in words but I'm gonna try to do my very best on how it's actually done especially on RC car Lexan bodies So this is what I saw on YouTube. Um, this is based on what I saw on YouTube. Just go ahead and type in um, How to I don't know how to repair holes from RC bodies or something like that or I'll just do it the easy way and link it in the description below or something so all you just need is um, some mailing tape and just go ahead and put the tape over the hole the unwanted hole so there you go you can't see it but it's there I applied some, I applied the tape there in those middle two holes. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the body upside down. I'm gonna apply some of this gel substance from the Bondic pen. And then on the left hand, on the left handed when it com comes to writing, all it's gonna do is squeeze the middle part of this Bondic pen and just squeeze this a good amount in there. Do it around the hole. There you go. And I'm just gonna cover it now. And I'm gonna turn on the UV LED light because like I said, this thing dries up pretty fast with UV light. I'm gonna do my very best to show it to you guys on camera. So it's gonna dry up pretty fast. Okay, so now that's done. Although it may be clear, that thing is pretty solid. Um, it's gonna be hard for me to show you, but um, is there anything that I can actually tap on it or something? I have no idea. But uh, my, normally my, um, let's just put it this way. This pin, I can easily put that pin, this little body pin right through that hole but now,
can't go through. Even if I, I try to, it's not going through. That right there is solid now. So, it actually does work. Like I said, I mean, it's kind of hard to really portray it on camera. Uh, but uh, go ahead and give it, give these a shot. A, yeah, it's called the Bondic. It's a Bondic pen. Go check it out on Amazon or something. You'll find Bondic pens for, you know, decently priced. And I know what you're thinking. Why did I get the Bonic pen in the first place? Why did I need it for? What is the benefits of it? Well, on my TRX4 um, with the Toyota 4Runner body from uh, Proline, I wanted to put some windshield wipers on here just to have a little bit of more scale look to it. Unfortunately, I accidentally put a, uh, a kind of a big hole and these weren't able to clear and they were kind of loose. They were flopping around. So all I did is I used I used the the bonding pen and just put smeared some uh, UV glue substance on it. I don't know. It's, it's like a gel. Kind of looks like epoxy resin in a way that actually dries up pretty fast with UV radiation. Um, and all I just did is smeared a little bit in there just to um, make the, um, the hole a little bit smaller. Then I was able to put these windshield wipers on and they aren't going anywhere. Unfortunately, these don't work like real wipers. I mean, who's gonna be taking this thing in the rain and expect these things to wipe the windshield? It's just for looks. But it work. They work pretty well. So like I said, Check the check these out. The Bondic pen. Go on Amazon. Type in Bondic pen, and you'll go ahead and see it. Um, I'll go ahead and link a video that I found this idea, so he so the guy can actually get a shout out from me because um, um, he actually wow he he actually introduced it to the the Bondic pen um, at least for me, and and it actually does work. So yeah. So check it out, Bondic Pen. Go check it out on Amazon. All right, see you guys later.